What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. Last time, we were in control of Ephraim's army as he made his way towards Grotto, stopping first at Fort Rigwald. He managed to rescue, well, in his route, Tana and recruit Amelia, as well as learn a few things about General Dwessel and Prince Leon. Specifically, that Dwessel has been opposed to the war since its inception, and that, allegedly, Leon was the one to push Emperor Vigard to invade Rene. Ephraim doesn't believe that news about Leon, and so he presses onward into Grotto territory. In this episode, we are once again in control of Erica. From her route, we learn that Carcino has betrayed Frelia, and that Prince Innes is in danger. And so we must ride to his aid. Before we head over there, though, I do need to do some inventory management, since I'm very bad at doing that before a battle begins. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of resource management, buy a few things, maybe have a few spares for the convoy, and see what I can do about those consumable items. So give me a little bit while I rearrange my inventories. Okay, so I think I'm done with my inventory management. Uh, in terms of items that I bought, I got a heel staff for Natasha. I got a, well, I gave Ford the Killer Lance, but I bought a spare javelin, and I also gave Ross a hammer. A hammer? If I could, you know, actually, ah! I'm hitting all of the wrong buttons! Oh, well, whatever. A hammer is essentially an item that does effective damage against knights. Think of an armor slayer, but for axe units. And then there are the consumable items that I got as well. Um, I'm going to go and give Erica the Angelic Robe because she could certainly use more HP to increase her survivability, because, you know, main character. And I'm also giving Franz the Dragon Shield, since Franz has come very close multiple times to dying. It's a miracle he hasn't died yet. So I'm going to go ahead and raise his defenses, so that way he has less of a chance of dying. Uh, I have not given anyone the speed wing, though. I'm going to hold on to that, at least for the time being. But Erica definitely could use some more HP. Increase the main lord's survivability. Okay, I'll go ahead and give Franz his vulnerary back. I've got a lot of elixirs. Um, I am having Tana hold on to the Axe Reaver. I think that would be very good for her to have. And she's not that far away from getting a C rank in Lances. So that shouldn't really take too long for her to be able to use that. Okay, with all my inventory management taken care of, let's head on over to Terra's Plateau. Carcino has betrayed Frelia and joined forces with Grotto. Carcino's troops stop Prince Innes, blocking his way to Johanna. With soldiers occupying the road forward and back, he is trapped in a hopeless situation. Erica rushes to the prince's aid. Chapter 10, Revolt at Carcino. General Glenn of the Grotto Imperial Army, also known as the Sunstone. Yes, your orders. Capture the leader of the rebel army in Carcino. Capture Erica. Erica. 
You mean the Princess of Renee? Erica invaded Carcino. She massacred the citizens of Port Kiris. Then she fled south. Glenn, go! Crush the rebels who brought ruin to Carcino! Understood, sire. What'd the Emperor say, brother? I've been ordered to kill the Princess of Renee. Cormeg, I want you to remain here in the capital. I'll go alone. If that's what you want, brother, so be it. But you seem troubled. Don't tell me you're concerned about fighting the princess of a ruined land. Mm, I was never able to slip anything past you, little brother. You're right. This duty falls heavily on my shoulders, more than any other. Tell me, brother. Do you know the, this princess? Yes. And Renee and Grotto were still close. I met the girl. I met Erica. Only once. We spoke briefly, but I felt she was a woman of great kindness. I cannot bring myself to believe Princess Erica is evil. I cannot. But the Emperor has ordered, there's the rub, Cormeg. That's it exactly. His Majesty has never spoken a falsehood in all the time I've served him. And as a servant of the Empire, I am duty bound to obey his orders. I can see no reason to think Princess Erica's heart is any less gentle now. What are these cowardly mutterings? It is because you three generals are weak that we others must work so hard. And yet you get the honor of killing the girl. Ah, oh, how I long to do your duty for you! Grr! Vulture, you treacherous swine! What's this? Is this how you speak towards your pure knights of the realm? Lest you've forgotten, I too am a general, the same rank as you. you wretch! You were cast out from the army for mistreating civilians! What lies have you told to receive pardon and reinstatement at the same time? Our beloved emperor felt my skills were needed, and his word is law. His Majesty has earned my sincerest and most undying gratitude. And then we have you three. Dussel, Selina, and you. The three of you have proven to be unreliable time and time again. We were brought in to plug the holes, don't you see? You ought to thank me, Glenn! Walter, if you dare insult my brother further! Come now, Cormeg! What would you do to me if I did? Would you fight me? Here! <laughs> would you show such disloyalty to the Emperor? Peace, Cormeg. We are His Majesty's men. We will honor his commands. Mark my words, Walter. Your crimes are neither forgotten nor forgiven. Hmm. Prince Ines, what do you say? Can you continue? Yes, of course. Do you believe this is enough to make me give up? I'm surprised you mercenaries haven't turned and fled, though. Nah. You see, Garrick's Mercenaries takes its name from me, Garrick. I'm the chief here. If I quit while I'm player still fought on, They'd want a new name, you follow me? So, what's the plan? Same as before. We remain surrounded. I'm not going to allow us simply to walk out of here. I sent a me messenger off with news of our plight. However, even the wings of a Pegasus knight, Frelia is days away. We can expect no help from them. So, we tighten our belts and survive, is that it? Or would you rather quit this place and rest in comfort? Surrender? I am the Prince of Frelia. I don't know the meaning of the word. The fate of the world rides on my shoulders and I'll make it to Jahana. Even if I have to crawl there to do it. Ah, now that makes me feel better. If you're so determined, we may all live a little while longer. Hey, Chief, Prince. What is it, Tethels? I've got bad news, and then I've got worse news. 
what's the bad news? We have no more weapons in reserve. What you're holding is what we've got. Once those are gone, there won't be much fight left in us. That is bad news. Well, what's the worst news? They've begun to move. They're going to attack again. It looks like they're sending up the whole lot of them this time. Right. You two, you're done here. Discharge, fire, whatever. You can surrender or flee. The choice is yours. What? I'm the one they're after. Throw down your weapons and you'll walk away alive. I don't need you here. You'll only be in my way. Who knows? You filthy cell swords will probably sell me out anyway. Hold on there! That's not true and you know it! Peace, Tettles. Hey, Prince. What are you going to do? I'm going to get out of here on my own! I'll break to the south and escape into the mountains. That ain't gonna be easy. How do you plan on doing that? I'm not telling you. I have no idea when you'll decide to betray me. Go on, get out of here. I'd rather do this alone. Sounds like you're trying to make sure you're the only one who dies. Fool. I have no intention of dying. But there can be no false hope of reinforcements riding in to save the day. You and I are not the same. You're a commoner, and I am Frelia's heir. We of noble birth do not shirk the duties to which we are born. What are you waiting for? You may go. Well played, my lord. I've always loved the melodrama of martyrdom. There's no way I can abandon you after that fine performance. I'm staying with you, to the end. To the- What are you saying? You dare ignore the orders of the one who's paying your wages? Tethels, I want you to go and surrender. Give my regards to Edwin and Marissa. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not going anywhere. Now, would the two of you kindly stop acting like such men? And you! You've already fired us! You can't order us to leave now! Unbelievable! And you people call yourselves mercenaries! I thought you fought for money, not for duty. Yeah, that's one of the rules. Eh, guess we're lousy mercenaries, eh? Now, let's get thinking. We still need a plan to get us all out of here alive. You're supposed to be a good tactician, so I figure I won't die easily. Tell us what to do, Prince. We'll follow your orders. Hm. Very well. I'll see what I can do to avoid getting us filled with arrows. Say, Prince, if by some miracle aid were to come, from what direction would it arrive? From the north. There's little or no hope of that. Even if really were to send us aid, they would not arrive until... This may be good news, but then again, it may be more bad news. There, on the northern mountain path, someone's coming. Prince Innes! Princess Erica, the prince is surrounded by the mercenary armies of Carcino. He looks vastly outnumbered. I doubt he can hold out much longer. I can see that! Let's hurry! Alright, so it seems like we made it in time. And we've got quite a bit that we need to deal with. Plenty of archers with uh, Ballista. We have our boss here. Pablo, plenty of other units here as well, not even a brigand as well, but I don't see any villages, although there is an arena. Hmm, plenty of Myrmidons though, and that's gonna make things a little bit complicated, though there is someone here that's a little bit different. Slightly different sprite. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to see if there is anything worth stealing. Ooh, a longbow that drops, a lance reaver that drops. Let's see, ooh. Okay, so that Myrmidon has a red gem and that's very easily stealable. Okay, that is worth keeping in mind. And a lot of hand axes, a torch, and that's it. Okay, so the red gem's the only thing there. But I think that in and of itself is worth bringing calm for. 
Okay. And then, of course... Oh, I almost forgot. Another thing that's of vague importance. The reason why we are here to begin with. Prince Innes, as well as the two mercenaries, Garrick and Tethels. We'll get into them a little bit more once the battle begins. But we do have them to contend with as well, and to rescue them so that they don't get killed. That is going to be our first priority. Until then, though, I will go ahead and set up my troops, and we'll begin the map. Alright, so I've gone ahead and picked out what I needed. There wasn't really too much that I needed to change. And obviously, I'd already done all of my battle preparations. Uh, I don't think if I mentioned this or not, but I did buy a Thunder Tome for loot. So that should give her a little bit of versatility in terms of what spells I could potentially use on my enemies. Uh, aside from that, I also gave Seth an Iron Sword that was about to break because I wasn't going to use it for anything else. Uh, I am bringing Nimi along since there are some uh, Ballista around as well. She might not be the best unit to bring along, but at the very least that gives me an option. And with that, I think we're good to go. Let's begin. Okay, so our primary objective first is to head on over to where Prince Innes is and try to rescue him. Now, in terms of him and the mercenaries he's hired, Prince Innes is a sniper. He's basically a promoted archer unit, so think of a better Nimi, I guess. Uh, he can only use bows, but he has a very good rank in bows, and he also has a unique skill. Skills are kind of different in Sacred Stones compared to some other Fire Emblem games like Genealogy or Awakening. Skills are tied to specific classes, so a class can have a special ability. For instance, the Sniper has a chance to get... Basically, he has a chance to get a guaranteed hit. There are other skills that apply to different classes, and we'll see them throughout the course of the game. But in his... He's pretty alright. I consider him one of the better archers within the entire Fire Emblem series. Not the best, but definitely up there. And he also has a white gem, which, if we can get that, we can sell it. There are also the two mercenaries that he's hired, Garrick and Tethels. Garrick is, of course, a mercenary class. This class exclusively uses swords, as we've seen throughout our enemies, but they typically have higher strength and defense than Myrmidons. They're more geared towards actually tanking attacks, although their speed generally isn't as high as a Myrmidon. Although Garrick does have a respectable amount of speed and skill to boot. He also has a Steel Blade, as well as a Hero Crest, which, if we really wanted to, we could promote him immediately once we recruit him. So, that is an option, actually. And then we have Tethels. Tethels is a very unique class. She is a dancer. A dancer does not carry any weapons. This isn't Awakening or Fates, where a dancer has lackluster combat stats but can attack. No. Prior to Awakening, dancers could not wield any weapons, but what she can do is that she can grant a unit another action. So, let's say that Garrick, or let's say that Innes goes and attacks this mage right here. Tethels could dance for Innes, and then that would allow him to move again. So, in this situation, he could head over here and attack this guy. Personally speaking, I don't find dancers to be the greatest units. I have seen many people praise dancers to no end, but honestly speaking, I see them a little bit more of a liability more than anything. My general tactic is to just use units that can deal as much damage as possible and either take no damage or dodge to avoid damage. And 
Why move again when I could just have another strong unit to go run up and attack? That's not to say that Tethel's has no value. A lot of people would argue against what I stated and see the, uh, the benefit of having another unit move again. And there are a ton of benefits, whether it's having a healer heal twice in one turn, whether it's getting, uh, like, say, someone like Tana who went and rescued someone, Tethos could dance for her, and then she could drop off that unit, and then that would save a turn of movement for the rescued unit. There are plenty of good uses for dancers. I personally don't really use them that often, but that's not to say that they don't have a use. Okay. So what I want to do first, we'll go ahead and put Tana right here and have her equip the javelin. Yeah, that puts her out of range of those guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and have Franz go over here and have him equip the Iron Lance. Um, I do have to worry about these guys. This one I'm not really too concerned with. We'll deal with him in another time. But for this one, um, let's see, we'll move Joshua next to Tana, we'll move Natasha next to him. What I need is to make sure everyone is out of range, so we'll move Seth over here. That just leaves getting Kyle out of the way, that's simple enough. We'll move Erica over there, Ross, Ford. Uh, make sure Nimi... Yeah, Nimi will be fine. Move her over there, and we'll move Colm right next to her. And then Luke. <laughs> My plan to get rid of Klimt has yielded some unexpected fruit. The head of Frelia's Prince Innes will make a fine gift to Grotto. Lord Pablo, Prince Innes and his men have taken refuge in a mountain stronghold. Do we have your permission to finish them off? Yes. Flush the prince out and cut him down. We'll find Klimt later and roast his old bones as well. <laughs> Lord Klimt, Pablo's troops are moving toward the stronghold. It looks like they're planning on chasing down Prince Innes and his men. Pablo, you mad, reckless imbecile. If Prince Innes dies here, the bond between Carcino and Frelly is sundered forever. Carcino will be nothing more than a vassal playing tribute to Grotto. We must find some way to aid Prince Innes. Wait, my Lord Klimt. Pablo's after you as well. If you reveal yourself here... Ugh. May fortune keep you safe, Prince Innes. Alright, and now the enemies go. Alright, well, it's a good thing I gave Franz that dragon shield. Yikes. It is- I'm still surprised at just how much of a miracle Franz has of just being alive. Although that dragon shield should hopefully make sure he stays alive. It's definitely one of my more important units. Alright, mercenaries are on the move. Myrmidon's on the move. Soldiers as well. All right, and then I pretty much just need to keep Seth there. Oh. Okay. Well, that guy had a death wish. Hopefully the other... Nope, he's going to attack Innes and not try to go after Donna. All right. Okay, Brigand's on the move, and now Innes. Well, he's just going to stay there until we get someone over there. Um... Okay. Well... Tana would be the fastest one to get over there. And I know Erica can get over there to recruit Innes. I want to say Tana can do that as well? But I'm not 100% sure on that. So we gotta make sure that, yeah, we'll be fine otherwise. 
Okay. Uh, Iron Lance. Mm, Tana's not gonna be able to double him. What about Joshua? Uh, Joshua should be fine. Nice dodge! I was gonna have Natasha run up and heal him, but I guess I don't need to do that. Neat. Okay, pretty good level up. Let's see, so we can have Kyle go down here and maybe deal some damage. Okay, that should be enough for Tana to finish him off. Tana, yeah, she should be able to do it. Nice! Okay. And then we have... Okay, we should be fine. Yeah, no one is within range. So I can move Franz forward. I can move Natasha up here and... Oh, right, because Joshua leveled up. Okay, cool. And she leveled up. What level's Natasha at now? Eight. Okay, pretty good level up. Of course, I also need to get my units over to Innes as fast as possible. So we'll move everyone down. Ross over here, and Ford can head down. Eh, he can head straight down here. Seth can continue to draw fire. Alright, enemies on the move. Um, ooh, axe units as well. Good thing those ballista don't really have great accuracy. Ooh, an archer as well. Okay. Well, at the very least, those soldiers aren't going to be too big of a deal. And Innes is on the move as well. Nice crit, Innes. Does that count for the unnecessary crit for the day? Okay, now can Tana... Ooh, Tana can't go around that. Crap. Okay. Well. Hmm. Let's see. What would be the fastest way to get over there? Probably that way. And then I have this Myrmidon and this fighter to deal with. Ooh. Okay, um... Ah, crap. Uh, less crap. Um... Thunder Tome and the Elfire Tome aren't going to really do it. I have to use fire. Okay, well, Lucha to be fine. And I can get myself a Killing Axe as well. Okay. I'm not sure Natasha can reach loot. But at least I got that killer axe. Uh, ooh. I might need to have someone rescue her. Okay, uh, well, I could have Mimi go down here and try to weaken him. Okay. That works. Then Joshua. Sweet, that worked out pretty nicely. All right. Okay, I need Tana to go over and try to talk to Inez. Um, yeah, she shouldn't be in range of anyone. So if I head her down this way, she should be fine. Uh, ooh, Natasha can heal up loot. Okay. Let's see, that guy has an Iron Lance. Seven, so 14. Okay, yeah. Uh, if I heal up loot, she should be fine. All right. Okay, and if I put Kyle nearby, or actually, hmm. Well, I could also just have him guard loot, but I don't think that's necessary. I think him just being nearby will 
help. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll move Erica down. Um, yeah, Seth is pretty much just good staying there. Uh, we'll move Calm over here. Uh, Ford. Uh, let's see. Is that area safe? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and move Ford down this way. Franz can stay kind of close by. And then Ross can head down. Eight damage. Okay, she would have survived, but... It would have been rather risky, to say the least. All right, Brigand's on the move. Myrmidons as well. Ooh, nice dodge in it. Hmm. All right, that's number three. Ooh. That is another problem. Okay, Garrick is going to... Okay, that slightly complicates things. Oh, please tell me Tana can actually reach him this turn. Yes, okay, and perfect, she can recruit him. I thought she could. So let's go ahead and have brother and sister reunite. Tana! What? How did... What are you doing here? I came with Erica. Wait here, brother. It's my turn to protect you. Stop playing the soldier, Tana. You will return to the palace at once. I will not! Erica, Ephraim, and you are all risking so much. I can't sit at home and watch. I have to do something to help. Tana! Talk about this later. For now, we join forces with Erica. Thank you, brother! Okay, and now we have Innes officially joining our group. Okay. Hmm. I'm actually wondering what's the best way to go about this, since Innes can talk to Tethels or Garrick, and then I can use the other one to, well, recruit the other. Uh, let's see. Tethels should have a move of five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, she should be good. Unfortunately, trying to get through these forests is a bit of a pain. Especially with these guys. Um, Derek should be fine, though. So, yeah, we'll have Innis talk to Tethels, then. Reinforcements have arrived, Tethels. Really? Well, perhaps faith is a good thing. I've never had much before, but perhaps good things do happen to good people. Faith had nothing to do with this. Let's go. We must join them. What a strange nobleman. All right, and now we have Tethels added to our team. And, well, we could dance for Tana, but more importantly... Say, Chief! I've got good news, and I've got better news. Huh? What's the good news? Within our band of mercenaries, there are two women enamored of you. Huh? What are you talking about? You a fortune teller now? And what's the better news? Help has arrived! Looks like we may survive after all. Okay, rather... Rather odd first statement, but whatever. Okay, so... Six. Ooh, Garrick might be in trouble. But he does have a vulnerary, so I think this would be a good opportunity to just block that way and then use the vulnerary to heal up. Garrick is an amazing unit, and I certainly don't want to risk losing him. Uh, let's see, what would be the best way to go about this? Uh, unfortunately, I've got 
brigands on the way, and they all have, or at least most of them have hand axes, which makes things a little bit complicated. Uh, well, I could have Ford. Well, that's an option. The, hmm. Well, Ford shouldn't have any trouble with these Myrmidons. What I should do would be to build up a wall. Yeah. Build up a wall so that way... My units won't be completely assaulted by these units. Okay, so we'll go ahead and have Luke go over here. Move Joshua down. We'll move Natasha here to heal up Luke. Next objective should be to get everyone else to rendezvous with Innes and his band of mercenaries. Uh, we'll send Mimi and Colm out this way. We'll have Ross stay relatively close by. Ford, you can stay there. And then Seth can continue to draw fire. Hey, you're up! You're getting paid a lot more than us common soldiers. Time you earned your gold! I hear you. Where do I start killing? Th that way. The Ferelian troops. D don't point that blade in our direction! I'll do what I can. No promises. Good day. <sighs> so that's Marissa. The crimson flash of Garrick's mercenaries. She's a beauty, but I'll keep my distance. And keep my head. All right, enemies on the move. Most of them brigands. Okay, a 4% chance to crit for zero damage. Okay. Hey! All right, and the other one's attacking Franz. A crit for zero! <laughs> All right, and now Garrick has these guys to deal with. Okay, well, you should have no problem taking down those fighters. That's not what I'm concerned with. Well, I mean, I was partially concerned with that. I was mostly concerned with those guys hitting him and then the archer hitting him and then bad things happening from there. Okay, and looks like that band is also on the move. Alright, one more and we should be good. Ooh, I didn't figure he could attack immediately there. Crap! Thankfully, thankfully Tethel's dodged. Okay, so now that we finally got introduced to her proper, we have Marissa. And, as that soldier said, she's a member of Garrick's Mercenaries. Hmm. We'll get into a little bit more about her once we finally get her, but we still have this band to deal with. Okay, let's see. So if Tana goes over here... Sweet, that will work. That worked out wonderfully. Hey, now she can use the Axe Reaver. Okay, and now I can have Garrick go ahead and take care of the Brigand. Nice dodge. Okay, so now that all of those forces are dealt with, we can have Innes go over here, we can have Tethels go over here, and let's see us a little dance. So yeah, Tethel's, when it also comes to promotions, training up a dancer is really problematic. Dancing will give her experience, as we saw she gained 10 experience from that. And she actually has some amazing growth rates, especially when it comes to increasing like her speed and her luck. Those growth rates are fantastic. So if you do train her up, 
she can pretty much dodge most attacks. Problem is that dancers don't have a promotion class. Once she reaches level 20, she can't exactly do anything else, and she will never gain any weapons. So, yeah, slightly problematic. Okay, but we do have these guys to deal with. So let's try to weaken their numbers. Okay. Uh, we'll keep Seth up here because that still has one more go. Uh, we could have Ross, actually. Well, if we put him in range there... Actually, he should be fine. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and have him take down this soldier. Okay. And he had a key. Um... Uh, you know, I did buy this hammer for him, but there are no knights on this map. He doesn't need it at the moment. Okay, so what I need... Let's see. These guys have Iron Axe, Iron Axe, Iron Axe. Okay, so loot can go over here to take down... Ooh. Interesting. Loot? Well, she's faster than that one. Is there anything different from their constitutions? Or maybe their speed. Nah, it's the speed. Okay, she can't double that one, but she can double the other ones. Okay. Um, well... Joshua isn't gonna be... Well, actually. One, two, three, four, five. He could go to that one. Uh, but Luke can't reach the other one either. So, yeah. Joshua, not gonna be greatest here. Unnecessary critical. Okay, and that allows Erica to go over here. Yeah, that'll work. Useful critical! Alright. Alright, and that means I could send someone like Franz over here, actually. Who all is... Oh. Eh, that's not bad. Uh, ooh, Franz or Ford? Well, can Ford... No, and he doesn't have the good swords. Uh, Kyle doesn't have the speed, though. Alright, then... Franz it is. Alright, so that should take care of... That takes care of the brigand. And that also puts him in range of the other brigand. Uh, we'll go ahead and have loot go over here. Take care of him. Alright. That takes care of another brigand. And loot levels up! Hooray! Ooh, she's level 10 now. If we really wanted to, we could promote her. Uh, let's see... Once again, we'll have Mimi and Colm just head down this way. Uh, I would not mind some extra help down here. Yeah, we'll send Ford down to help out. Uh, we'll send... Well, actually... Uh, nope. Does anyone need healing? I mean, Franz does, but no one else really does. Okay. Uh, then we'll have Kyle go over here and attack him. Okay, I was really worried that he would miss. It's like, really? You're gonna put Natasha in danger like that? Okay, we'll move Natasha right here then. Huh? Oh, he's going back because he got hit. Gotcha. All right. Not a problem for Franz. And that should give him enough for another level. Hooray! Skill, defense, and res. Pretty good. Ooh. Whole line of them. 
And last one. Which missed. Perfect. Okay. He's going to heal up his injured friend. And if I could get to that priest, that would be the best course of action. Okay, and yeah, he can't do anything. So now Seth can join down here. Uh, <laughs> well, there's an idea. Ooh, and he has a Lance Reaver too. Oh, that makes things even better. Wait, don't I get that? Yeah, I do get that. Ooh. Okay, um... Let's see. What is the best course of action? Well, hmm. I need to make sure that I don't put my units in range of Marissa. Let's see. Going around that way is going to be trouble. And there's not exactly a good way that would put my other units in danger. Ah, crap. This thing can't go upstairs. Okay. Um. No, I don't want to attack Marissa. Okay. Let's see. So, right where I'm at is the border of that guy. See, if I move in is over here, that should weaken him. I can get Ford down this way, provide support. Uh, I can move Mimi and Colm over here. Okay, I don't mind if Tana is in range, because she could very easily take that, or Garrick. Just gotta make sure Tethel's isn't in range. I might want to do something about the healing and dancing animations now that I think about it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I know I can... I know I can adjust that. At least, I'm pretty sure. Um, is that animation for each unit manually? Huh, I thought I could... I thought I could actually change that. Maybe I can't do that from here. Weird, okay. I thought for sure I could change whether or not those are animations played or not, or selective animations. Maybe I'm thinking of later Fire Emblem games. Oh well. Uh, let's see. So that guy has an iron axe. That guy also has an iron axe. Ah, uh, Franz is doing pretty well in terms of levels, and I wouldn't mind Erica getting some extra experience. So we'll have her go right there. I uh, will put Joshua right next to her, just in case. Have Natasha heal up Franz. Alright, well, my next objective is simply to deal with this group right here without killing Marissa. That is my ultimate goal. Thankfully, Marissa's in the back. I don't want to move Garrick back, though. He is who... He, I definitely know, is the one who can recruit Marissa. I'm not sure if Tethel's can recruit her as well, but I definitely know Garrick can. Uh, if I move Garrick at all, though, that puts him in range of a ton of other units. Uh, and if this guy does decide to attack, well, that's actually not that bad, to be honest. Uh, in which case, yeah, we'll just have him wait there. Um, yeah, Ford should be fine to move up here. Tana can wait where she is. Uh, Franz, actually, Franz can take care of this guy. There's really no reason for him not to. And does that, no, that doesn't put him in range of that. Alright, that's fair. 
Uh, Kyle and Lute, I don't think, really can do much from here. So I'll just have them on standby. And the guy retreats. Ooh, attacking Joshua. Okay. I hope you are prepared to die. Nice. I actually kind of wanted Joshua to get the experience more than the Erica. Okay. Speed and defense isn't bad. Allow him to dodge. And if he can't dodge, he takes slightly less damage. Oh. Ooh. Uh, I... That is a bad position. Uh, That is a really bad position. Um... Mimi can't do much from right there. I need to take down one of these cell swords and the archer if I want to get to Marissa. That... Well, Tana could potentially take him out, but it would also leave her pretty close to dying. Um, hmm, let's see, Ford, fortunately these guys are quick, Killer Lance would be nice, Colm would take decent damage, hmm, okay, well, let's deal with this first. We'll have Ross take care of this guy. And he leveled up. Ooh, pretty good level up there, Ross. And we got a Lance Reaver sword that he can't use. Okay, um... I best want to do this. Well, I can have loot go down here. She could very easily get the kill. Kyle could certainly use some experience. Um... Yeah, because I think I would want to give the kill to Joshua. So we'll have Kyle go down here. Mm. Oh well. M more healing for Natasha. And we'll send Joshua down here to finish him off. Now what I'm gonna want to do to try to help out, Joshua would be perfect to send up here to go attack these brigands. Since there's no villages, they're just going to head down to attack me. So I'm gonna put Erica over here. I'll put Natasha right here to heal up Kyle. then. We'll have loot down here because supports. And how do I best want to do this? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have six move. Hmm, the best use of Venice would be attacking the archer. No questions asked. Because if I just have him dismount, that's not gonna help him. Uh, let's see. I can have Garrick attack and then have Tethels go and dance for him. Assuming Ford gets out of the way. Actually, let's see. So, 15 if he doesn't crit. Oh, Tana could very easily finish him. Okay. So, that will work out quite nicely. Nice! All right. Okay, um. Let's see, I can have Tana go... Well, actually... Uh, Colm can't reach it. Mimi can. Ooh, that will work out quite nicely. Thank you, Mimi. All right, what kind of level up does she get this time? Mimi! Oh well, whatever. That opens the way. So let's go ahead and recruit Marissa. Is that you, Marissa? Chief. <sighs> what a mess. Looks like the guild bungled. 
We're usually diligent about making sure this sort of thing doesn't happen. But here we are. Two people of the same troop, working for opposite sides. What should we do? Hey, well, that's a good question. Well, as a mercenary, your loyalty should always lie with the person paying your wages. You decide. We can cross blades if you want, but I'd rather you retreat. Of course, if you betray your employer, you'll soil your sterling name. Come on, Chief. What do you want me to do? Well, that's easy. I'd like you to come over and join my side. Right. Done. Uh, hold on! Is that it? Just like that? You know what this will do to your reputation, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, Marissa's kind of an interesting character. But anyway, now we have her as part of our team. So Marissa is a Myrmidon similar to Joshua, and she even comes with her a unique weapon, Shamshir, which is kind of similar to a Killing Edge, to be honest. In fact, actually, what's the difference between the two? Um, slightly higher crit, although slightly less damage as well. Weight of seven, and also lighter. So Marissa, honest to goodness, Marissa is kind of an inferior Joshua, if I'm being completely honest. She doesn't have as high constitution, so she can't carry as wide a variety of swords without incurring a speed penalty. And then her stats are kind of similar to Joshua's, but she's also a lot lower leveled compared to Joshua. And, well, there's just, she, I'm pretty sure her growths are a little bit worse than Joshua as well. But, she is a Myrmidon, which automatically makes her pretty good in my book. Uh, I could also just have her go over here and completely annihilate some people. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, four, hmm. Or one, two, 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 two. Huh. Well, here's an idea. I want to make sure I don't get Marissa killed right after I recruit her. Uh, so we can have Ford go over here. Ah, sweet. That'll work out perfectly. Nice. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have a spare sword for Marissa. But, I mean, she could very easily tank a hit from that soldier. So, at least I'm pretty sure. I mean, I doubt this soldier's got some great strength. Let's see, six. Oh, he has a slim lance. Yeah, Marissa will be fine. Do your thing, Marissa. Well, I was hoping for a crit, but whatever. And we got us a torch staff. Okay, let's go ahead and have Tana deal with. Oh, oh my. Um, this is this is awkward. Okay. Uh, speed of six. Speed of eleven. Defense is four, six, eleven. I think she can survive even if that guy does double her. Let's see, so five, eleven, seven. So if Colm's nearby, that can provide some support. Actually, One, two, three, four, four. This will work. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize she had the Axe Reaver. Why did she have the Axe Reaver? I mean, I know why she had it to begin with. Why did she have it equipped? Crap. Okay. 
Come on, Marissa! Oh, shoot. I'm scared for Tana. Okay, that's not bad at all. I mean, she'll miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that he didn't have a chance to crit, though. That would have been... Ah! Uh... 